Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. Where she's got a parasol! That's so pretty. Alright, nobody can fight me in this armor. I'll be really mad if I get it dirty. What's that? Please disperse. The exhibition is closed. I look ridiculous. What's this about? Oh, let me to give me strength. I can't bear this. Please, I believe I've been clear. No presentation today. <laughs> Bye. Oh, wait. Are you not that famous witcher, Geralt of Rivia? I believe I have work for you. He's kind of pudgy. Saw your notice. Mentioned a monument. Oh! That is a delicate one, but mind you, I pay well. Unless I can say no more at this stage. Interested? Uh... Yeah, but, you know. The statue. Just tell me, what's the problem? A picture's worth a thousand words. More. No, I wait. That's not what I meant. Come with me. I'll show you. Okay, well, um, okay. This is awkward. I thought he would just tell me stuff. Sorry, my Madame Duchess. Here I got is. distracted by, uh... Our pride and joy, Reginald Dolph. By a butt. A giant among lovers. A poking, puncturing swordsman. And atop all that, an unrifled titler of harps and other organs. Okay. <clears throat> so what's wrong with it? How should I put this? It's lost its jewels. That's just, uh, that's disgusting. Somebody stole the testicles off a statue. <laughs> that's no disgusting! Ordinary statue, you. You stole a monument made using a cast of the great Reginald's own genitals. Certified and authenticated. I'm really grossed out. It's Sprung pretty gross looking. directly from his loins, they grant all who stroke them unparalleled virility. All who buy a ticket. Thus, you must retrieve those stones. Okay, there's a lot of innuendo going on here. Got my attention. Now tell me about this Reginald, all you know. There's so much to tell. Legend has it he and the architect Faramont planned and laid out Beauclair. Hmm. Impressed. It was already, already there because it was an elven ruin. Reginald took great pains to devise escape routes for lovers caught with their pants down. Oh my gosh! And metaphorically, he later made frequent use of them himself, not out of fear, mind you, but to avoid having to kill his rifles in duels. Uh huh. Any idea when the theft took place? It must have been many I... hours ago. I guided the last group through the exposition quite recently. Stones were very much in place. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm going to tell the dead if this was like true to true to life, whatever. I'd tell the Duchess that I got stopped because a man's freaking testicles were stolen off of a statue of virility. And she'd probably be like, Oh, that's a pretty dang good reason for you to be delayed. Don't mind me. But she'd also be like, Oh what the frick, man? We have more important things to do. <laughs> Oh my god. I got distracted by some testicles and had to stop. I'm sorry I'm late. <laughs> got any suspects? Considering the vast potency of Reginald's prized pouch, <coughs> everyone's a suspect. Somebody worked really himself. hard on the dialogue for this quest. Like, they worked really hard. <laughs> they haven't repeated, I think, a single, a single idiom for testicles this whole time. Like, they just have, they just, everything's been, everything's been new. <laughs> Need to look around. Might find a clue or two. Do what you must. 
As long as you return grasping Reginald's stones, <laughs> then Beauclair's entire tourist sector faces trying times. Trying times. Sorry, Reginald, I... don't worry. You shall be whole again soon. <laughs> this is goodness gracious, great balls of granite. <laughs> Must. Oh, what the heck? I wasn't, I wasn't planning on doing it. Oh, please. Saw marks are straight and clean. Precision <sighs> castration, I call this. I got distracted from saving Beauclair by great balls of granite. Somebody, somebody blackmailed somebody and got this quest put in and worked really hard on it. Just just was just ecstatic. Even coat fabric caught on the nail. Heavy on cologne. Smell it'll lead me to the thief. Really? You're gonna assume this that this is the thief? It could be anything. Could be anybody who'd gone through. Oops. Where is it? I can sort of see it very vaguely. I, but still waters run deep. It seems to sort of end here. Oh, there it kind of. I kind of see it. Harder to see for some reason. Usually it's not as hard to see. Don't mind me. Move this way. Take good care of yourself. I'll do my best. I'm just hunting down some, some balls. You know how it goes. Oh my gosh, I'm just... <laughs> I'm so sorry, Duchess. Yeah, this is what I've this is what I've come to. I'm a scary, scary witcher. To this door. Oh my gosh! Please no! <laughs> I don't! I do not want to go in there! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh. Hi. Sorry to interrupt, I guess. You're disgusting. Uh, uh, this, uh, this is not what it seems. <laughs> Word of honor. I, I, I tripped, rolled, uh, tumbled, then landed where she already lay. Psst. Shoes. That's not him. I, I, I swear, this is all an unfortunate coincidence. A series thereof. <sighs> That's not my husband. You got with this guy? You mean... Not your husband? Who are you? And why are you in my home? Out! Now! Or I'll summon the guards! Mm. Calm down. Just here to talk. I... Uh, I believe we have nothing to talk about. Oh, we do. We do. Just to <laughs> keep things off. You're in great form for a man your age. Uh-huh. Let's do a creepy mm, look at the lady. I, I eat well, start the day with a glass of wine. That preserves the body wonderfully. Interesting. Might try it. Say, ever heard of Reginald Dobrin? <laughs> Carol! <his> statue? <laughs> Everyone in the city's heard of it. Reginald's a paragon, a national hero. That's so. You seem well informed, Hughes. Maybe you know who stole Reginald's testicles. I... Uh, I can explain <laughs> everything. Uh, this... Rosalinda! I know you're in there! You had that pesky pants of yours! Oh no, not him too. This really is not my day. Got you, you rogue! 
prepare for a shellacan, Skellig. What the love's this? Rosalinta, one I could forgive you, but <laughs> two at one time. What? Wait, got nothing to do with this. <laughs> Take me for a fool. Please. I'm not wearing armor. Another man's punt. It's she doesn't belong to you. Go away. I got no time for this. Go home. Y yes, that could be best. I I'm done here. Isn't this his home? I don't know, but that would have gone horribly for me had you not intervened. Thank you for saving my skin. Give me them back so I can carry on. Mm -hmm. So, time to talk. <sighs> Rosalina, my dove, please allow us a moment. <laughs> One, I could have forgiven you, but two? That's, ho that's hilarious. All right. I admit I stole the stones. And you would never believe it, but they work. Today, Rosalinda and I were three times and counting. <laughs> three times? Impressive. Isn't it? At my age, that's more than the entire lost decade. Oh, he is so All ugly. the same. You stole those stones and you gotta return them. Listen, perhaps. No, please just give them to me so I can go. Hmm? No. You're a lecherous old stones. man. I'll pay you. Grant me this, I beg you. They, they've made me. Everything comes again. to an end, old man. Uh, willing to? No, no, yeah, no. No chance. Need to take the stones, pure and simple. But, but if you were to leave them with me for a day or two, no, man, just move on. Out of luck. Yes, Sorry. exactly. At the day's end. It's good I had a chance to use them at all. I don't put them in a bag, man. Bruh, I don't even want to know. Red, Thanks. please don't put that in my pocket. Good luck. Actually, think you'll do just fine without them. It could be a placebo effect thing, but uh, that's unnatural for sure. Three times in one day for anybody. That's pretty unnatural. Yeah, God, this was, <laughs> this was a very hilarious, accidental, sort of, just, whoopsie-daisy. Oh, she's reading a book. That was cool. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this city. <laughs> this city. Oh, my gosh. This city is so funny. Can I go? Nope. Go in this way. Goodness gracious, great balls of granite. Oh my gosh, I'm crying. Well, have you recovered Reginald's family jewels? Yep, got them back. Let me out the slushes, lips, it's them! It's really them. I hope this mod is pays the extent of my gratitude. His face. And look in on us tomorrow for the grand reopening. You shall stroke Reginald at no charge on the house. Oh, thank you. No. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. I will never be the same. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Have I gone absolute another murder by the horrid beast? Milton the Payrak Payron falls Hi. Slight delay, my bad. Late. Now why does that not surprise me? I was even delayed. Oh my gosh! At night? He's just been chilling in this alley the whole day.
Oh crap, I need a mask. Well, well. I did not expect you to have such a sense of style. Not all bad. Nothing like a budding artist, of course, but... Just one other detail. Oh, Here, good. Put it on. Thank you, thank you. Mask. All who attend the Mandragora Soiree wear them. If you have one on, no one asks who you are. Any idea why they wear masks? Likely because they imagine it oh so very romantic and mysterious. Well, you the look truth great. Is far simpler. This way, no one can tell which drunken aristocrats are pinching the performers. Let's go. Soiree started. Mm -hmm. Geralt! Wise of you to hide your weapons. They'd not have let us in otherwise. That's certain. Hide them? Hide them, lady. I don't think you... This is like a doublet. Like, there's no hiding anything in here. You can hide wine glasses in your pockets. How do we find the Sintrian? Have you a plan? <laughs> he is not to spook him. Need to ask after his partner, Cecilia, first. Less likely to raise suspicions. As soon as we find her, we find him. Especially since he might be expecting us. What do you mean? Ran into some of his thugs in town. Knew who I was. Had it in for me. Right. Right you are. We must proceed with caution. Come, it's our turn. Madame, Monsieur, an extraordinary pleasure to welcome you to the Mandragora Soiree. Tonight, I particularly recommend you direct your attention to the performances He's got an earring in. by artists of our community. Tell us about these performances. Uh, the Duchess's this boobs evening, just moved. The Mandragora has the honor to present three superb displays of artistry. The first was a concert by Cecilia Belont. A singer whose voice, were it stone, would surely be a diamond. Sadly, Mademoiselle Cecilia has some. A shame. We would have loved to hear her. Uh, luckily, you are in time to see the great Calesti, a master of visual illusions, come to us from oh, far off a fear. Visual illusions. Interesting. And the third artist? Uh, the third and fourth, for they are a duo, are the Tuven brothers, presenting their newest pantomime. We were really hoping to meet Cecilia Ballant. You are admirers, I surmise. I'm certain you will have ample opportunity to converse with her. It cannot be easy to identify anyone in this crowd. Perhaps you could help us find her. Hmm, I don't know where she is now, but I can give you a clue. <laughs> Let's hear it. Galoo! Seek the Kaviri Orchid. Meaning? Cecilia wears one in her hair. You shall recognize her easily by the orchid. Well, well. Dandelion's always complaining about artists being poor as temple mice. Not in Beauclair. The residence belongs to none of them. They are guests here. Oriana, she owns this. Woman in the black dress. There, on the balcony. Got her. Doesn't wear a mask? It would be pointless. All would know her anyway. Kaviri Orchid. Let's look for it. If we find Cecilia, we'll find the Cintrian. Ooh, take part in the entertainments. Wow, there's a lot of entertainments. I suppose that's part of the uh, searching. Dude, girl, girl, I feel you. Get that entire plate. Oh, no, never mind. It's a waitress. I was like, I feel you. Get that whole plate and run off with it. Come on, get out. Be bold. Show us the artist in you. Okay, boys. Cast them at the canvas. Okay. Good folk. Yet another soul. No need to express its creativity. Throw paintballs to express your inner artist. You are not um. It's obvious. It is a transgression in its purest form. <laughs> it's not a manuscript. It's a manuscript of a You can hear them. Shoot 
to tire of these hues. Drop them in the pail and grab a different one. I can't grab anymore. Should you tire of these hues, drop them in the pail and grab a different one. Should you tire of these hues, Aww. drop them in oh, the pail go. and grab a different one. Quite the note. <laughs> it's so funny. It's like it's always funny hearing how people will like justify art or like like they look at a piece and they're like, aha, you know, here it is. And here's the meaning of it. And then the artist is like, that's not that's not that's not what I that's not what I meant. But okay. Oh, um oh wait! Oh, so I have multiple in my hand. I see. Okay, um, okay, I see. Okay, so now if I'm going to finish throwing all of them, I'm going to actually have to. Please don't get in my way, that just. It could go poorly. I guess we're gonna have to be. Focusing on the red in this piece. Voila, fine. Now, allow me a moment to ponder. <laughs> I so. The painting depicts spiritual dualism, the continual battle between good and evil, and defiance. <laughs> oh, yes, that's him, all right. <laughs> good versus evil, the dualistic nature of man. That's me. And defiance. Yum, yum. Oh, is it like the food tables? No? Is it above me? No, oh, it shouldn't be. Oh. Absent. The preferred hooch of our- Yeah! Don't do it! No! Yeah. A pretty powerful resistance. Oh, no, Geralt. The little boy. I think the, the the lady with the flower in her hair is gonna be on the other side. So we're gonna go over here because I want to play. I want to do fun things. Oh, or maybe not. Oh, it's just checking out the various alcoves, I guess. I'm busy, I'm playing. Look, lanterns. They say the use them brings good luck. Right there. These? This one's for me. No, yes. Yes! Fine. Let's give it a try. Oh my gosh, we just think we just Never suspected you believed in such things. <laughs> I love these kinds of, I love lantern ceremonies. I think they're like some of the coolest things, like just a little piece of paper and some fire and you put it in the water or let it float through the air and they're beautiful. I freaking love it. I love it. 
I love there's and there you put so many up. Oh wow, your parasols in your Wow, okay. That's a new style, new statement. Look at the maze. Oh! I believe he's casting spells. Yeah, Whoa! Let's see. Tug of war thing. Mm. Hold on, I haven't finished playing. all the activities. Oh dang, I can't see it now. Oh, there it was. Yeah, I know, hang on. It might not work. Wait, what was that the whole goal? Oh, they're mimes! Oh, I see. Okay, they're mine. They're the brothers. Oh, okay, so they were pretending to pull on a rope. I didn't I thought they were just Okay, I was like, how is that an artistic thingamajiggy? Oh, she's pretty. Because the only way a woman can convince a man of anything is to sleep with him, unfortunately. How exciting! It's just like Hollywood. You want something done? Apparently, you gotta sleep with somebody. Even if you don't necessarily want to. How exciting! Um. Cecilia never should have performed. We are busy. Okay, so you are not Cecilia. Um. Oh, hey, look, stuff. Ha ha! I'll steal everything from you, from everybody. It's fine. Do you guys have anything? No. Okay. So did I did I check the alcoves then properly? It would seem so. Please leave. This is a private alcove. It's a private alcove. 
I see that, my good man. I see that. Haha, -ha, the other one. Oh, so now they are doing something else? Oh, okay. 